you never win But the voice of truth Tells me a different story The voice of truth Says do not be afraid And the voice of truth I started writing Voice of Truth in Bible College. Uh, I have dyslexia and ADD, uh, so school was always a nightmare. I, I was always in the, in the little class that you didn't want anybody to know you were in. Uh, so it made school tough, it made church tough, uh, because they always called me to read. I don't know how, like I had a sign over my head or something. And uh, so by about fourth or fifth grade, I figured out you're different and you're not as much as everybody else, so you just need to be okay with that. And I think I was for a long time. And, and uh, I remember getting into the Word finally at about age 20 and read in 2 Corinthians 12 where Paul wasn't perfect and that blew me away. You know, the more you go to church you realize everybody's sick but nobody has any problems. You know, we're all praying for hearts and organs and brains and livers and but nobody's marriage is in trouble, nobody's addicted to anything, nobody's struggled with anything. And I thought, I'm the only loser in this church, you know. And, and uh, what I started seeing in Scripture is Paul boasts more about his weakness than he does about what he's doing right. Every Almost every letter he wrote, he somehow gets into what he used to be. And so you understand, uh, man, Jesus didn't save me because of who, what I've done, and, and he doesn't sustain me because of what I'm doing. Uh, but he, in spite of who I was and who I am and all my weaknesses using me, and he says uh, in um, the book of the Bible, 2 Corinthians, <laughs> and he says right there in 2 Corinthians 12, he says, you know, I'm praying God will take this away, but God says to me, my grace is sufficient in your weakness. So, you know, I, I think the world is hearing the wrong story from the church. What they're hearing from us is, the places we would never go and the TV shows we would never watch and the things we've never tried and, and, and what they need to hear from us is man I'm a train wreck and I'm not doing any of this right and God saved my life and he stays with me and I'm still a big dork and somehow he just restores me and stay and, and that is the truth story you know uh, in the middle of the course it says this is for my glory in other words I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have this weakness because it's gonna point people to me